liberal viewer present. So even though our friends at Fox spent much of the last election cycle alternately accusing Barack Obama of either being a secret Muslim or a militant black Christian, with President Obama now in office, I'd hope the attacks on Obama's religion had subsided for a while, but apparently not, as you can see in the short news item that ran on Fox and Friends last week here. Good morning. We hope you're having a fabulous day so far. It's Wednesday, April 8, 2009. Let me tell you what's happening right now. President Obama hasn't been to church since he took office. Well, how many Sundays have you been counting? 11 Sundays so far. Now he's saying we are not a Christian nation. So is there a message being sent? I think so. Huh. No. The actual message President Obama was sending was the one in his speech in Turkey that Fox News played over a Chiron asking in all caps about picking on Christianity, which former Miss America and Fox and Friends anchor Gretchen Carlson then used to actually question President Obama's regard for Christianity, as you can see in this clip. I've said before uh, that one of the great strengths of the United States is, uh, although as I mentioned, uh, you know, we have a very large Christian population. We do not consider ourselves a Christian nation or a Jewish nation or a Muslim nation. Uh, we consider ourselves uh, a nation of citizens. All right, so is that a disregard for Christianity? A disregard for Christianity? More like another of the baseless attacks on Obama's religion that have been such a mainstay at Fox, though at least this time they had non-Christian John Pode Horitz in their pundit pit who, despite his second-generation neoconservative pedigree, at least injected the little bit of sanity into the analysis you can see here. That Turkey is a democracy that is struggling with its with an effort to Islamicize it, and what he is saying to the Turks is, there is such a thing as a nation of citizens, not a nation that is built on a religious foundation, but on a foundation of civil law that unites everyone. Hmm. And uh, I don't think that Christians should take offense. Not being a Christian, I'm a Jew. Happy Passover to all my. <laughs> <laughs> to all my Jewish friends, but um, but I don't think because I think it's actually a very deep point that he was making in that is Turkey. a very deep analysis. I will say that I had not thought of that uh, point of view yet. I had not thought of that point of view yet. I'm not sure what that means, but despite that deep analysis from Pod Horitz, I was surprised no one made the historical connection to another U.S. president trying to build goodwill in the Muslim world. The second president of the United States, John Adams, signed the Treaty of Tripoli, unanimously ratified by the U.S. Senate in 1797, including Article 11, which contains the phrase, quote, The government of the United States of America is not in any sense founded on the Christian religion. Of course, the Treaty of Tripoli was negotiated in another time when goodwill in the Muslim world was important to America, and when Americans were fighting pirates off the coast of Africa, so I guess I can see how Fox News would fail to see the relevance. But I want to know what you think. Was that Fox News coverage of President Obama's remarks fair to include questions about supposedly disregarding Christianity and picking on Christianity? And on the bigger question, were both the second U.S. President John Adams and the 44th U.S. President Barack Obama correct when they both told the Muslim world that America is not a Christian nation? I, YouTube, you decide.